In R, we often make use of the command line and text scripts to be able to undertake various bits of analysis. In other statistical software packages, there tends to be a graphical user interface, and the analysis is undertaken in a more point-and-click way. There have been various projects undertaken to build graphical user interfaces on top of R, and one of the most useful and successful to date is the R Commander interface created by John Fox. Now this is a lightweight interface that um, is implemented using TCLTK and it is provided as a series of packages within R. So the package itself is called RCMDR and we can start the system up by loading this package in our session. So this is what the R Commander window looks like. So if we just extend it to fill up our screen, we'll see it's reasonably minimalistic. So at the top we've got our menu system, which has things to do with dealing with the session. Then data allows us to get data from various sources. Statistics is the basic analyses that's available through this system and various other menus that make more sense once we've loaded the data set and or fitted a model. So what we've got in this next line is the way that our commander works is to have an active data set. So whenever you try and do some analysis from the menus on the active data set, this is the data set that will be used. So we can edit the data or view it using these two buttons and then also in a similar vein we can make use of an active model. So if we want to produce diagnostics for that model, we can make use of the model menu. So then we've got a script window, which plays the role of a text file for doing scripts um, via the normal interface to R. And then an output window, which merely shows us the output that's produced for the analysis that we have undertaken. At the bottom we've got a messages window, where we can see various bits and pieces. So the first thing we're going to look at is importing data, as without any data we can't actually do any analysis. So we all, we'll often have data in text file format. So I've got an example here of a data set that's actually available in R, but I've exported it to a tab separated text file just to demonstrate importing this data into R Commander. So as we see we've got three columns of data and each column of data is separated by a tab. So we go to the data menu, import data, and then we want to go from text file clipboard or URL. So we click that option and we'll change the name of the data frame, which we're going to load. So then what we need to specify is that we've got tabs separating each particular column of data. Click OK, and then we search for our file, which is orange.txt. Click OK, and now we'll notice that it's been loaded and saved to an object, and now our data set is specified as orange.df. So what we can do is we could view that data, which brings up this small window which shows us the columns of data here. We could also edit it. So another data set that we might want to load would be one in comma-separated variable format, which is a much more common format, especially for people we're working with spreadsheets such as Excel. So here we've got each column and bit of information is separated by a comma, hence the name of the file. So this is a short set of data for a set of matches in the English Premiership. So again we can go through the data import data route from text file. So if we save this as e0.df and here we say comma as our field separator. OK, select the file and now we'll see that this has been loaded and made the active data set. So we click, we click on the review, view button and we can see that this is the data that has been imported. Now what we could also do is actually load data directly from the spreadsheet assuming that it's in the correct format. So the data is in a rectangular array as we'd expect with the first row corresponding to column names. So what we would do through here is our data import data from Excel Access or DBase dataset. So this data set we're going to just call metdata and then we need to specify the name of the file where it's stored. 
which is our XLS file. We'll click OK. And it's complaining that that data file is already open. So what we will need to do is just to close it and then click OK. So now we'll just need to go back and we'll see that we've now got the data set loaded so it's just complaining that we had it open in a separate program and now we'll see that the data has been loaded in as we'd expect it to be. So that essentially sums up various different ways of getting data from text files on Excel spreadsheet into the R Commander interface to R.